step. Freeze it. Arms. Order. Arms. Right. Face. Ready. Step. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I'm going to ask a one eight driving tennis board to sing the national anthem for us. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you for doing that for us. Today we're here, we made some pretty big strides. Let me put my magic glasses back on. It looked like this was written in Arabic a minute ago, but it's English now. I'm happy to see everybody here tonight and I appreciate everyone showing up. Today we were able to make some strides in honoring those who made the ultimate sacrifice in our communities and in our county. This project has been many, many years in the make making. Uh, COVID shutdowns caused some serious issues. However, we were able to move through them. Let me let that wind go for just a minute. This project began with an idea that was hatched by Sheriff Allman and District Attorney David Eister. They were able to set aside the funding and uh, start working towards making this project a reality. I'd like to personally thank our CEO, Darcy Antill, our Board of Supervisors, Mendocino County Board of Supervisors, who supported this project from, from its inception all the way through. And uh, I'd also like to thank retired supervisors John McCowan, Carrie Brown, and Mike Delbar, who constantly placed public safety and the safety of our residents at the top of their priorities. And that was extremely noticeable. We all appreciated that. Fort Bragg Electric and Daniel Steele also came through, helping us with a lot of the work that needed to be done here. Appreciate that as well. My undersheriff, Darren Brewster, couldn't be here this evening. He has a wedding out of state. One of the things that I asked him to do before his retirement was to get this across the finish line and working with buildings and grounds, working with those folks who have made this probably one of the most beautiful locations in the county tonight. I appreciate all you folks. Rose Britton organized this event tonight. We received several donations from many businesses and individuals in Mendocino County. There are so many people who have supported us over the years including Big Earl Chavez with Big Earl's Barbecue, Public Safety Foundation, Morgan Gibson, Keith's Market, and Harvest Market, just to name a few. I'm extremely thankful to everybody who pitched in. I wanted to thank our Honor Guard, as well as the Honor Guard from the Highway Patrol and from the Department of Fish and Wildlife this evening. And I wanted to recognize several of our tribal leaders who are here this evening. We have tribal leaders, Richie Campbell from uh, the Coyote Valley Tribe. We have Diana Billy Elliott, Martin Martinez, Buffy Wright. Our tribal partners have come through for us so many times when the chips are down. 
and so many times during the recent emergency since 2017 through now. And strangely enough, when I call and say, I need some help, the answer is always, hey, Matt, you know the answer is yes. Now tell me what the problem is. And that's pretty humbling. I appreciate it. Disasters seem to be the new norm in Mendocino County. So what is this monument? Today we see these nine names before us, and sadly, I worked with three of them. For a lot of people attending this event, we knew these folks. They were our partners, but they were also the names of friends. For a few people here, it was their fathers. Some of it was family members. Some of it was folks knew them as their coach, their friend, someone they'd grown up with. These were real people. Over 23,000 peace officers had died in the line of duty throughout U.S. history, dating back to the first recorded in 1786. I hope and pray that we will never add another name to this monument. But I realize that that's it's largely in the hands of the Almighty. To do this job, we have to be willing to lay down our lives. I think everybody who puts on the uniform and wears a badge, they know that. The book of John tells us that greater love hath no man than this, that a man would lay his life down for his friends. I've seen that played out, and I know what it looks like, and I wish I didn't. The names on these monuments are set in stone, and this stone's going to stand throughout time. There's a reason for this, and that's long after we're gone, their sacrifices are going to be remembered. And it's because they should be. This evening we have retired sheriffs Tuso and Almond, who lost deputies during their tenure as sheriff. We also have the Highway Patrol Commander, Randy England, who also lost an officer in Mendocino County, actually a couple of them. I'm going to ask them to step up and say a few words this evening. Sheriff Tuso, if you could begin. Thank you, Sheriff, for the uh, introduction. Uh, I'm not as fast as I was in the past. Uh, let, let me just give you a disclaimer. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm preparing for December, <laughs> where, I, where I put on a nice fuzzy red uniform. But anyway, I want to thank uh, Matt and, and Sheriff Tom Allman for bringing this together for us. It was a long effort to, uh, to do, but it was finally done. Be because of COVID, things were suspended for a while. But I had the, uh, the pleasure and the honor of meeting with Sheriff Allman and Sheriff Kendall right where you folks are standing to make a final decision as to where the monument would go. You can see that the decision was to have them out right here, right in front of the sheriff's office. And uh, it finally came true, and we are here tonight. And I want to also thank Deputy Dist uh, District Attorney David Eister for helping with the project by uh, supplying funding to, to make this work. I'm here tonight to um, support and recognize and honor George Robert Bob Davis. He passed on my watch in 1995. And I'm here on behalf of his wife, Phyllis. I uh, stand here and look at this monument. It's just heartbreaking to see the names on here, having known at least two of the names, Deputy George Bob Davis and Deputy Sheriff Ricky Del Forentino. So I would just want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. 
into helping us honor these folks that are engraved on these beautiful, beautiful tablets. The person who made this monument is the same individual that made the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Monument in Willits. They did a fantastic job. So that's about all I have to say, but other than thank you very much for you all being, it means a lot to me. Um, I think I've run out of words. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Sheriff sure, Allman, could I invite you up to your old and my new podium, please? Welcome. We really appreciate it uh, for you being here. I appreciate you not being at the chili cook-off yet, but uh, this is the most important place to be in Mendocino County right now. And the, the short history, and you're not going to be standing long, I don't think, but the short history is about five and a half years ago, uh, I went to uh, our district attorney and said, David, we'd like to do a memorial. Can you help us? And, and David, help us provide the funding. And, and Dave, we're very appreciative. Thank you very much. This is not something that the taxpayers paid for, and we appreciate you understanding your help, and you were supportive from the very, very beginning. Um, if, if I can provide levity, here's my analogy of this. We started this five and a half years ago. COVID happened. It worked its way through the bureaucracy. It worked its way through administration. Bureaucracy is similar to elephants mating. It's done at high levels, and it takes a long time to see results. But we have what's here, and I want the families to know, your loved one will not be forgotten. And we will have generations of our, our cops we pass on, but this will not, this will stay here. And I knew three of those, uh, Ricky, Bob, and, and certainly Thomas, and um, I gotta tell you, it was an honor to have the sheriff call me and say, it looks like we're finally going to get it done. And, and how cool is that? In Washington, D.C., the monument says, the monument for all peace officers, the National Peace Officer Memorial, we're not honoring how these heroes died. We're honoring how these heroes lived. And they stepped up to the role, they put the badge on, and, and they, did out, they went out and performed their duties. And I am so thankful that we're still seeing young men and women jump in and serve this role. I, I am so appreciative of that because in today's world, it's a, that's a tough role to, to have when the society is um, screaming defund me and we're saying we need, we need law enforcement, we need to keep the peace. I want to give a shout out to John Nolte who's here, he's a Sheriff's Office hero. John Nolte, you know what we're saying, we appreciate you and your family very much. Um, you will always be the Sheriff's Office hero. Uh, Sheriff Tuso uh, is representing Phyllis Davis here, and I, I spoke to Phyllis, and I appreciate you representing Phyllis, Sheriff, very much. Um, there's a, just a short shout-out I'd like to give um, the, the people who really and truly helped us, the Walters, the Dans, uh, the Janelles, who helped us get stuff done. We appreciate, sometimes we feel like we're pushing against the ocean. And this made it done. And when you see this at night, please try to come by at night when you see the lights that Fort Bragg Electric did um, that with a new flagpole. This is a beautiful, beautiful monument. It's, it's, it's going to be the most beautiful spot in Mendocino County. Put, put this on your bucket list. And Bell Memorial. Bell Memorial is a, the company out of Fresno that did the Vietnam Veteran Memorial. And they did this and certainly... Um, uh, we appreciate uh, the work that went into it. So with that, I, I really appreciate you being here. Um, and I'm going to invite Captain Randy England up. Is yeah, that okay? Absolutely. Welcome home, Captain.
Good evening and thank you for everyone involved in helping put this together. This gives us an opportunity to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice while making our communities a safer place to live. Unfortunately, we have two California Highway Patrol officers killed in the line of duty here in Mendocino County. And I was delighted this afternoon or this evening knowing that the Yarsky family was actually able to attend this. Um, February 24th, 1998, on US 101, just north of Laytonville, Paul Yarsky, ID 3493, was driving in snow and slush conditions when he lost control of his patrol vehicle. The vehicle left the roadway and went down an embankment where the vehicle plunged into a creek. Officer Yarsky was a 17-year veteran of the CHP and was survived by his wife, Nancy, and son, Michael, and daughter, Andrea. Prior to entering the CHP Academy, Officer Yarsky served in the United States Air Force and on April 14, 2012, the section of US 101 North of Laytonville was dedicated to Officer Paul Yarsky. On February 15, 2011, on US 101 just south of Piercy, Officer Thomas Adams, ID 19365, was driving in inclement weather and was involved in a fatal traffic crash. Officer Adams was assigned to the Oakland area upon his graduation from the CHP Academy. And in 2010, Officer Adams transferred to the Garberville area. Officer Adams is survived by his mother, Karen, and father, Bruce, who are unable to attend today. And I had the pleasure of calling Karen and Bruce my friends. Uh, Karen was a CHP dispatcher for over 30 years and retired, and Karen and Bruce have moved to Arizona. <clears throat> Since retiring and going to Arizona, unfortunately, they're unable to be here. They wanted to thank all of you today for honoring their son and the sacrifice Thomas made. In 2012, the state dedicated a portion of US 101 just south of Piercy in honor of Officer Adams. The CHP would like to thank you for allowing us to honor our fallen officers so they are never forgotten. Thank you. Thank you, Dad, <coughs> We're gonna be uh, Presenting the bouquets to the fallen. Go ahead. Presenting to the family, the Yarsky family, of course, with the Sheriff William H. Tainter, end of watch, 1863, Constable Thomas Sharp Lynch, end of watch, 1909, Deputy Sheriff William White, end of watch in 1950, Deputy Sheriff George Robert Bob Davis, end of watch in 1995, Deputy Sheriff Ricky Paul Del Fiorentino, end of watch in 2014. Sheriff J. Henry Smith, end of watch in 1905. Marshal John F. Dixon, end of watch 1915. Officer Paul Yarsky, end of watch 1981. And Officer Thomas Adams, end of watch 2011. I appreciate everybody being here this evening. We all have common needs and common goals. America seems to be in a strange time. We've seen a lot of assaults on peace officers. Homicides on peace officers have been on their eyes. I hate seeing this. We all have to stand together. And we got to stand in unity if we want to see these things improve. So just on a closing thought, as we shut down this ceremony and begin to have a little fellowship with uh, some pretty good barbecue, I'm hopeful that we can all think about the things that unite us and not the things that divide us. Think about how we can move forward in the United States, particularly in Mendocino County and in our communities. Let's all work together to make tomorrow a little bit better than what today was. And I think that was a pretty realistic goal. I appreciate everyone being here. And uh, Charlie, if you can 
Thank you. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. 